Hi all, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Dhruv Kailash. Today we will be discussing data frame functions using pandas. Today we are going to discuss group by aggregations, apply and transform functions used in data frames. I am importing numpy and pandas libraries. Today we will be using the empty cars data set. Let us take a look at the empty cars data set. Here you can see different columns in this data set. This is the car model name, then MPG, cylinder numbers, etc. This data set has 32 rows and 12 columns. We can do the group by operation on each column. For example, I am creating a new data frame model underscore data in which I am grouping model column. Group by work like this. Split the table into smaller groups. Apply some functions on each of the smaller group. Then combine the results. When we print the model underscore data, we get like this. Here you can see that model underscore data is a data frame. We can see the content of the data frame using the first function. First is a function that is offered by a grouped data frame. This will show every group present in the data frame along with the first record in that group. It will not show all the records. If you want to get all records in a particular group, we can use get group method. That is example model underscore data dot get underscore group must rs4. Here you can see two rows in which model is must rx4. Once you have a grouped data frame, all aggregations that you perform will be applied to a particular group, but it is not applied to the whole data frame. Here I am applying the mean function. The mean will be calculated for each group. Here the values are sorted by default. If we don't want sorting, we can specify that in the group by. Here I am specifying sort is equal to false inside the bracket. Now we can see that the model names are not sorted. We can use group by on two columns together. Here I am passing model and mpg column inside bracket. We can see that the data frame is now grouped by model first then by mpg. We can use dot agg function to do some aggregation. Here I am calculating the mean. I am passing the np dot mean inside dot agg function. When we use dot agg function, we can use multiple functions at the same time. Here I am calculating the minimum and maximum. We can see the min and max of each column here. We can also do different operations on different columns. For example, here I am applying different functions on each column. Let's see the result. We can use apply function to do some operations on the individual cell. Here I am using group by on model and using lambda function to apply group count. Transform function returns a self-produced data frame with transformed values after applying the function specified in its parameter. For example, here I am using the transform function to calculate the mean of mpg and creating a new column 
trans let's display empty cars we can see that the new column is created that's all for today's session thank you for watching my channel please like and subscribe my channel bye enjoy coding with me through